I got news for you. Not very many people know that Kenya has been generating a lot of innovative media products. One of these is Ushahidi, an open source platform that was first used in 2007 to map out the post-election violence. Currently, it's being used all over the world to map out crises and disasters like the recent earthquake in Haiti. We however use Ushahidi to develop the Urban Mirror website and map out the art scene in Nairobi. Shahidi team has recently come up with a new project, the iHub, an innovation center for techies. This is a cool project that is going to link up the Nairobi space with the cyberspace. I tagged along to witness the launch of the iHub. That's the power of social media. That's the power of connectivity. And that's the power of communication. iHub is about uh, the tech community here in Nairobi. And it's a place for them to come together, hack on things, use high-speed internet. We have the fastest internet in the city. And um, you know, as long as you're a tech guy who's working on a cool project, you can get in and you can work on it here. I think iHub is a really cool idea because techies are always on their comps at home alone. I think it's a good idea for like a small fellowship of techies to come together and let's chill and learn new things from each other. The need for it has, has been there all along. Yes. Because when you talk to many of Kenya's techies. They tell you that the challenge they have is in startup capital and the startup process for companies and the cost of bandwidth and generally the, the cost of running an office. So if you, and that has been the excuse or the reason why they are not innovative. Membership at the iHub is based on uh, a couple of key things. One of them being that, you know, what are your tech credentials? Are you a designer, a researcher, a programmer? Um, and what are you doing in that space, like actually doing? Um, it's about people who do, not about people who talk. I think it's going to benefit the city of Nairobi in a way that um, we're becoming more technologically advanced in terms of Twitter because Facebook is becoming a bit boring. So iHub is a way of building up technology, social networking, everything that deals with technology. Like Nairobians need to be more in touch with each other because the world is going digital. Today's top news. We go on with the celebration of public spaces in Nairobi. Let's go to the theater zone to check out what's happening. You are the one who's playing the daring game. Uncle, that is an unfair way to treat a man. Hold your tongue, Petra. That's an unfair way People come here for artists you know, shows and all that. People come because this is a, a, a place of interest. It has an historical background, an institution where Kenyan cultures are expressed. So people find time to come and see what is going on. Sometimes just uh, maybe enjoy a drink at the restaurant. Sometimes just come to share and even hold meetings and even workshops. So it's not only at this uh, shows. You tell me about Wasani restaurant. Why Wasani restaurant? Why not Tule Tushibe restaurant or something? Well, let me answer that question uh, from the perspective as well of the founder of Wasani, who's, um, whose name is uh, Mr. Kent Lebiso. And um, the reason why he felt that this place should be named Wasani is because this is the place where the Msani meet. Kwa kusema kweli kila mtu tume grow hapa sisi wote. Msanii yote Kenya hii amepitia hapa. Yaani um e place siwezi kudanganya ime bring watu wengi sana sana. And most of them hata kama wale wenye sasa si wasanii wengi wao pia ni ma leaders huko kwenye corporate world. This is where most performances are done. This is the space that we have in this country where artists can come and express themselves. Hapa theater wajua ni kama ni kama one stop shop. Ni utakuja hapo utapata waandishi, utapata ma actors, utapata musicians, utapata rappers. Ambapo ukitaka kuna ile feeling ya art, artistry in the place to be. Utakuta wale watu wanaelewa usanii. Mimi msanii wa Mangoma, tuacheza Mangoma Heartbeat. Uh -huh. Tu represent mababu. Sure, sure. Kivilivyo, Zalia. I think so most of the people come here to do their work. People come to Ria, some people are acting. Some are coming to be like, it's a nice place to come and relax, also to think. I tell you, uh, I like it. I mean, I'm picking up my Zaki Tamaduni, and I mean, I'm percussionist. Happen to come off, yeah, happen in office. No cutting the king, yeah, base. Not listeners are committed to us, and you're a zangu, to Nezaku Bonga, who say, and up on a pallet. 
na at least hapa unapata miradi zingine na kiusanii sama una unajinua Theater nisaidia kwa kunacha talanta yangu kwa sababu hapa kuna wasanii wengi ukibaki mtaani utajiona ni wewe nikija hapa naona wenzangu inabidi na ji uplift na learn wananipa spirit wananipa moyo so yani ni ini base naweza sema ni base ya talanta zote yani nchi and uh, I've, I've, I've been coming in theater I've been coming all, all of the time because I, lo I, I love theater I live in theater in theater people are free spirits you say what you want anytime you want to say it as in no one will punish you for it so me I love theater National Theater is a very good place to meet now to inspire our work is inspire, inspired no we are not like like Bob Marley Sema. We don't get education, we get inspiration. Theatre is supposed to be running 24-7 with plays after it, it all the time. But this theatre it's different. How can we change it? As artists to work on that, by the way. If you're waiting for somebody to come outside to come and help us. How the how I, you, we just you sit mean down artists, yeah, and work out and think of something, how can we help theatre? Yeah, you don't ask me. There's something you just sit down and think about it. How can we help this place? All of us who are benefiting from this place. How can we build it up? Because you know, if we're going to sit down and wait for people to come and sponsor us, then we won't go anywhere. Well, you have seen for yourselves how Nairobi is fast becoming a hub for innovative ideas and creativity. We need more and more public spaces where people can hang out and exchange ideas. And that's all from the Urban Mirror News. Stay tuned for the next episode.